Here we have one of our most common repairs, which is a molded case circuit breaker. Now, these sit on the wall of almost every electrical cabinet, and this basically is the main breaker for the main power going into the applications. So you have power coming in, and should the power exceed what is needed, this will trip and hopefully save very expensive damage happening to the rest of the equipment. Now, here we have what is a common problem, which is that a lot of the time, these units will be on the wall for many years, and they'll be on all the time. But something will happen to cause them to trip, and they will not reset themselves. So this one, no matter how hard you pull it, it's in the tripped state. It's jammed. It will not move, no matter what you try to do to get it to function. So we are going to take a look inside, see what we can do to fix it, and then test it mechanically. Here we have the device open. As you can see, we have the board exposed. This board is responsible for letting you be able to adjust the current by which it will trip. So this little potentiometer here, you can adjust it up and down if you want the breaker to respond more sensitively to outside influences. So we will go ahead and dive deeper into the breaker and show you more. Now we have the breaker apart and turned on its side. And here inside you can see the trip mechanism as well as some of the internal mechanics. Here we have the coils inside as well, and this is where the problem lies. So we are going to go ahead and fix inside. We've got the shunt trip module removed as well, and we are going to go ahead and reassemble this. And after the repair, see if we can get it to trip mechanically. So now we have the breaker back assembled, and we are in the off position. So now we are going to try to engage it, and if we're successful, it will engage. Now we are on. We should be able to mechanically trip. And we have success. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.